What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you leak. So we about to, to get into, Krish, not, not Krishan, Blueface's mother. She uh, went live because Blueface is currently in jail or might have got bailed out. I don't know, but he went to jail today. And um, his mother has some things to say. So let's get into it, you dig? Child, no matter what, she stick beside him. All the um, grandmothers, mothers, all the mothers who realized, 26 years old, who sent a prayer, who said a prayer, thank you. Thank you so much. I don't have, I don't have nothing else to say, but thank you. That boy said that she is not his mama. Me and him would not be talking. Thank you to all the mothers with kids that wouldn't play with no nana and a boo boo at no time, whereas, you know, something serious as this. Thank you. Nana and a boo boo. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. I really do. So it wasn't that I was hiding because I was embarrassed or I was in shame. I was talking to God and literally following the orders of the elders and the mothers who said, Thank God that your son is going through this so that he can get through this and move on with his life. Because yes, you did try to tell him, but he had to learn on his own. When your mama say something's hot, it's hot. Listen, there's a reason why God said to honor your mother, no matter if they own drugs or not, whatever. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait a minute, what? Whatever your mother is telling you is because God has already told her she's responsible for you. He going to give her a word and it's going to be yes and it's going to be no. And you need to follow that whether you like it or not. So thank you to all wow, the mothers. The that's was crazy. The elders and the ancestors is crazy. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> For both these people, I don't have, I don't discriminate when it comes to, you know, nobody else's child. But thank you for praying for my son in spite of what it looks like. Looks thank like. you. Because when the whole story come out, all I want to hear is thank you also. Okay? Thank you. When the whole story come out, it's going to be, boy, you should have listened to your mama when she told you that shit was hot. I love my son with all my heart. I don't never want to get in the way of nothing that he want to do to make himself happy as long as it's safe. You always do. So it. thank you to all the mothers who's praying for both of these young people because we all been young people before. But the young people that's watching this, that's nanning and boo booing right now, you don't you you don't want to do that. What, what is nanning and -na booing? Whatever the story is, when the story unfolds, like I said. You shouldn't have been doing that. What? So yes, I spoke unfolded. to Wack t this morning and, 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 and shout out to him for being there with him to make sure that things went smoothly. Thank you. And thank you to all the mothers that's been praying way before the deadline. Okay. Thank you to all the mothers who. What who deadline? She act like he is on like trial. Who see and know and been through this either with their kids or don't want their kids to go through this. It say robbery, but a cell phone ain't robbery, okay? So him trying to protect somebody else, then... All right, so you heard what Blueface's mom had to say. Please... Him trying to protect somebody else. Friend, now you just cut that live off. Now I gotta find this damn live. Uh, Blue... Damn it. Face. Mom. What the... Uh, six, seven, 23. Girl, cause what happened? Four weeks ago, don't nobody had a lie but her. That's crazy. Ah. Uh. Literally the only one with the live. I don't know if the live cut off after that or what. <laughs> but basically, um, I don't know what the hell she's talking about. So 
Okay. Okay. But you know what? She has said more than what we even know because at first we all was clueless. Like, what do you mean robbery? For what? What he robbed? For who? Why? Right? People like, I knew he was broke and some bullshit. That man is not broke. <laughs> but I'm assuming he took the guy's phone because he was filming him and Krishan. So he took the phone, but she's saying that it was like it's Krishan's fault almost. And probably because Krishan um, is the one who initiated the situation. But here's my thing. Blueface don't care for her any other time. So like realistically, <laughs> like why was he taking up for her with the phone situation? I'll never understand it. Um, <laughs> and it's not funny. It's just like no guy, a female, huh? She was fighting another girl. Blue broke it up and gave the woman man her cell phone when it fell. So she was fighting a chick. He gave the phone to what? <laughs> he gave the phone back. So why would he be going to jail for robbery? I don't understand that. Like we need more information. We truly need more information y'all. Um, this ain't enough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, this is not enough. Ah, uh, blue face mystery. Okay. Oh, uh, it's Krishan speaking. Damn, that's all we got. Well, listen, y'all. That still don't add up to me. Um, like the phone fell, he gave the phone back, but he is still being charged for robbery. <clears throat> uh, basically, they're going to throw this shit out. I mean, and if Krishan had anything to do with it, like, wouldn't they be going to pick up Krishan or locking her up in Miami and then flying her ass to Vegas? Nigga, when you hustle, you hustle. Just got from the video you just premiered. Oh, what I miss. <laughs> I do. Wack broke it down. Where is Wax at? Where is where is his situation at? I mean, not his situation. Where is him explaining that? Wack 100 explaining why Blueface was in jail. Okay, let's go. You went up, huh? You went up, huh? No, because the motherfuckers rushed us, nigga. I didn't know they was plain clothes, nigga. I got off. Oh, they shit, they did it like some other... Uh, it's a plain clothes? Man, these niggas did what they do. You know you come and do the security check where you put all your shit in the little gray pan or the x-ray machine? Yeah, right when you walk in. Right when you walk nigga, in. Coming through. We at the court build, nigga, right? We coming through. I come through, grab my shit. He come through. When he come through the other side of the little conveyor belt, they come out. These niggas got jogging suits and shorts on and shit. You know what I'm saying? So when they go to grabbing, you know, we go to tussling. And they like, whack 100, whack 100, Nevada PD, Nevada PD. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> like, why would they be in sweatsuits? Don't think they paid attention yesterday <laughs> when you said something about... Blueface yeah. having to go to court today. I no, I definitely. Oh, bro, they know what our court they did. They, we all know that shit. It's on the record. Like, they know when we come to court. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, the motherfucking DA served the warrant. The fuck, the DA don't know we come to court. So, I said, all right. Damn, what the fuck happened to this shit? So, I said, all right. I go upstairs, call the attorney. I said, yo, they just arrested him. And book him, you know, what for? I said, shit, I don't know. That's what I pay you for. You figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't fucking know. She goes to the, uh, she goes to the, um, uh, 
I gave levels of yeah. me all the time. He go to the DA and ask yo, what, what's this about? The DA said, yeah, he got a uh, robbery. It's a robbery. They're like, yeah, you know, Palm Hotel. Palm Hotel. Robbery. So no, nah, it don't make sense to me. He said, we got it on, on video. I said, okay. He said that we're going to revoke his bail because he got a bench warrant for this case, for the robbery on the attempted murder. But we go in there to the judge. They didn't took him to the county already. They walked him out of the building. We're getting into the judge. He gets up there and said, yeah, we got a new robbery case on him from the Palm Hotel, whatever, whatever, whatever. <clears throat> we move to revoke. Take a whack. We'll take a minute to tell a story. His bail on the attempted murder. Because of the bench warrant, I stand up in court. I said, listen, I don't understand why he keeps saying the bench warrant. We were, he was just arrested coming through security in the court building. So the, the bailiff, he coming to like tell me to sit down. The motherfucker judge said, no, no, who are you? I said, on management on record. Oh, shit. I got off at 18. I thought he said 13. He said, on management on record, right? So they like, what do you mean? I said, we were down there at 8.51. They, they arrested him, took him in custody. So I don't know when the bench warrant was active. So the, attorney, the judge asked, tell, uh, asked the attorney, I mean the DA, when was the bench warrant active? Oh, um, it wasn't really a bench warrant. It was a PC warrant. I said, that's probable <laughs> cause. That's, a, like, what I said, that's a probable cause warrant. When was that acting? These words. He says, he says, 8.30 this morning. I said, so, Your Honor, we're here at 8.51. We're on docking for 9.30 a.m., correct? Correct, Mr. Jones. I said, so how could he say he violated a bench warrant when he served a probable cause warrant that was just issued at 9.30, at 8.30 this morning? A PC warrant went to the substation. It never came across the judge's desk. What? Judge looked at him. Let him out. So I tell you what, I'm going to act like today we was going to put his attempted murder court date off for two weeks. As long as the bail bondsman holds his bond on his attempted murder, I'm good. I ain't got no dog in the fight. God. Dude goes out there, he go out there and call the bail bondsman. That don't work. Nigga, my bondsman work for me. That don't work. I wouldn't give a fuck what's going on. He called a bondsman. He said, look, this dude got a serious, serious robbery in Nevada, and he already has a tinted bird in Nevada. He's a high risk. You know he has money. He has a passport. He might run. He said, that's okay. We're comfortable with his management. We've been doing business with Mr. Jones for quite some time. Our bond stands on the tempted murder. Y'all, all this shit be sounding like straight French to me. But basically, <clears throat> so they was trying to serve him a warrant for this phone situation that he didn't know about. Somebody help me. So once the help bond me. was standing and the judge just said, as far as I'm concerned, we putting off the attempt to murder court date for another two weeks. Now it's just like he just got a regular robbery. Right. That's it. That's, That's what they got to do. You got a bond. So dude tells me, <laughs> well, you got two hours to do a hard bond. And he oh, read him to the judge that. and said, as far as I'm concerned, we putting off the attempt to murder court date for another two weeks. Now, it's just like he just got a regular robbery. Right. Right. That's it. That's, That's what they got to do. You got a bond. So dude tells me, <laughs> well, you got two hours to do a hard bond. And he ain't a resident of Nevada, so you got two hours to find a motherfucking bell bond. I said, I got better than that. Run that black car. Take the whole dub. <laughs> got Dude, they thought they had a dumb street nigga. <laughs> I said, run that. How about I pay the whole bond? Uh, fuck your fuck it. Bond. Fuck it. <laughs> so I called my bondsman. He said, whack, they trying to. I said, I already paid the whole bill. He said, don't worry about it. Send it to me. Give me 10 days. I'm going to go in, buy the bond, and I kick it back. But they up. thought they was going to scare you off. So, so the bail bondsman called me and said, yo, them motherfuckers didn't want to let me, um, they didn't want to give me my my California license 
today. They said it was going to take 12 hours to approve and all this crazy shit, right? I said, I paid him the whole dub. He said, I'm going to go ahead on, put it in. They're going to have to approve me like always. Then I'll take over the bond and I'll kick it back to you. Might take two, three weeks or whatever, but whatever. Nevertheless, he, you know, he out. He bonded. So it's what it is. So Like we thought he would be. But, uh, you know, That's all you rappers, shit. all you young rappers, hey, look, man, I'm a different manager. But when people around you telling you shit, listen. When motherfuckers is telling you to lay low, lay low. i never forget it's a scene on Biker Boys. Not only lay low, why you got to keep telling us you in L.A.? It was, I mean, or Vegas. It was so bad the other day. He showed the hotel. I'm like, what is wrong with y'all niggas? Like, there's some people out here who feel like they really wouldn't get touched or whatever. And, you know, of course, nobody wished that on nobody. But it's like, my nigga, are you... <laughs> why y'all got to know where I'm at? You know what I'm saying? Everybody been asking me on my comments, Neek, where you at? Neek, where you at? The beach. It's a th it's a hundred thousand beaches in the world. I'm at one of them. Okay, nah, it's somebody that's probably out here that want to get uh, uh. You know what I'm saying? No, still on me everywhere I go. You know what I'm saying? But still, it's just be like, why put yourself in these dumbass situations? Right, with Lawrence Fishburne, you know they're doing the racing, and uh, old boy, um. You know, the son, the nigga that he didn't know was his son, was out chasing or whatever. But his mechanic told him, hey, no more and lay low. And they said, nigga, why you don't want to race, you pussy? He said, nigga, when my wrench tell me to lay low, I lay low. Thanks. When a motherfucker that got your best interest tell you, homie, chill out, lay low, you might want to listen, man. Just a little bit, Thanks. man. Thanks. Because this shit right here. That's a hard head nigga. A fight start off on some bitches. A bitch didn't drop the cell phone. He pitched the cell phone up to be oh. claiming robbery. Oh, that's Whoa. Fucking... So Krishan was fighting some chick. Blue just picks the phone up by default. <laughs> and this nigga in jail for a robbery for that? They wanted that 20000 Bullshit. So I called the Palms. You know, we've been playing that place since my Luth brothers owned the motherfucker. I called over there. They said, yeah, whack, we got them tapes. I said, yo, tell me what's happening with this. He said, no, nah, whack. She got her phone. We see he picked it up and handed it to her. So we, I said, he never you gave me a whole warrant for a phone that she already got back. That's crazy. The possession of the phone? Absolutely not. Nah, Damn. that's crazy. But see what, this was, see, what this was designed to do, this was designed to get the bail revoked for the attempted murder. If the attempted murder case wouldn't have been in play, they wouldn't have never filed this shit. So this ain't like he went to rob a motherfucker. Fight broke out between some bitches. You know, you can, only, you can use your imagination on what that is. And motherfuckers is breaking shit up. Phones get dropped. The girl get to going crazy about the phone. He hands the broad the phone. So you're going to beat that. You just got to go through the process. That says Vegas ain't fucking with him no more. They're hating yeah, on him right yeah, now. Yeah. They're well, hating on him right now. They, they want to get locked. Yeah. No, but it's the reason why they did that. Because, you know, motherfuckers is in the chokehold on the temp park case. Yep. I didn't get a dance on them. So they trying to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're <laughs> like, reaching now. I told they're him, they're hey, trying to lock him up for anything right now to hold it like that. Use Stay that. your ass out of Vegas. You only go to Vegas on this to take your ass to court. That's it. When we gotta go to Vegas, Mike? When it's time for court. When it's time for court. That's it, my nigga. Like, you don't wanna fuck around out here at all. Leave this shit alone. Thanks. So, you know, he figured out. He figured out this time. You know, it's kinda like a gift and a curse. All his homies be telling me, why I keep he doing that shit? Cause you save me. Every time. So you didn't beat five cases and some other shit. You know, he don't know he don't know what it felt like to be up against it. They kinda right. Well I mean, you know, I got a job to do. Right. Which is my job. Ain't my job, but it is my job. It just what it is, you know, when you when you know, my clients is all we get, you know, all my clients like family, you know. 
A lot of these niggas, they management and shit, they over there in them buildings, man. You got to take care of your people, though. They ain't coming man, out here in the paint. They wouldn't have been there when a nigga walked through that motherfucking security and got cuffed up. They'd have found out on the blogs. Hey, uh, real shit. You, you did that. You a different one. You a different one. You do that shit. You go out there and get in the field and get them out real quick. You got your bomb in ready to go. You've got them out about four times. Now, this is on that four... <laughs> Word. Wax be doing his thing. He about to come out. Wax be doing his thing. I ain't going to lie. Let's see. Um, freeway shoot, not beat. Yeah, that was good. That was informative. Oh, no, man. Um, I appreciate you, friend, for telling me about this because that was very informative because I was lost as hell. Um, and that's why you wasn't lost, friend, because I'm like, how do you know? Like, how do you know um, what's going on here? So, Wack, one thing about Wack, he going to tell that story. He going to tell that story. But y'all, listen, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I think um, I think Wack is a dope dude. You know what I'm saying? I think he's a dope dude, man. <laughs> you know, he hold, it down, he hold him down. He get him out. You can't be mad at him, you know? But y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.